Get over here! After receiving aid from Queen Helene, Hector rushes to the sealed shrine. The secret road they follow is known only to the royal family. They pass burned soldiers unnoticed and unhindered. They approach the castle. And then they are noticed and hindered. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> How's it going, everyone? Welcome to Chapter 29 of Let's Play Fire Emblem Blazing Sword. I am the Green Scorpion. And I'm the Comic Foil. And I am not looking forward to this chapter, Oh, boy! This chapter, Cog of Destiny. Mm. First reason, this guy. Yeah, so this is our one loose end in the four fangs. Yep. Uh, this is Lloyd, right? Uh, yes. Yes. Th this is Lloyd. Okay, so here we have Lloyd. We killed his brother. He's not happy. Well, no, we didn't kill him. We didn't kill he him. He thinks we killed yeah, his brother. We defeated his brother. I think Limstella <laughs> killed his brother. Not Lim. Yes, it was it Limstella. Yes, it was Limstella. Yeah. It wasn't Sonya. No. Yeah, it was Limstella. Uh, Sonya killed uh, Brendan Reed. Right. So he thinks that we killed them all. Yeah. Oh boy. <clears throat> yeah. So I, I gotta give it. I gotta give credit to Lloyd here. He has put together quite a band of loyal uh, Black Fang members. Yeah, Lloyd is. I mean, even more than Jafar, I feel Lloyd is has, like, the purest heart of the Four Fangs. He's actually a pretty okay guy. Did you say that Jafar has a pure heart? No, I'm saying Lloyd has the most, oh. even compared to Jafar, the person who actually joins us. Good point. Yeah. All right, then. So, here we go. Our heroes have arrived. Yep, Lin notices it. Here we go. I'm not afraid of three Mermidens. <laughs> yeah, three Mermidens is the, is the least of our worries. Oh yeah, Nino. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Quick little note here. We don't have to do it. But, we're gonna do it. We are? We are bringing Nino into this oh chapter. Oh my god, we are? Yes. I don't remember agreeing to that. Yes, we are doing that. Why are we doing that? Because... <laughs> For several reasons! Okay? Name one. It's awesome! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, all in favor? Gavel, uh, motion <laughs> passed. We'll bring Nino. You, you, you should just see Comic Foil right now, just like, in total disagreement to I, this. I'm not okay with this, but you know... <laughs> we can do it. I mean, point taken, Nino has pretty much fulfilled her purpose. Yeah. But... This chapter, man. So many reasons why this chapter is good, but also why this chapter is so feared among so many Fire Emblem veterans. It's not easy. Oh boy. And We're bringing Nino. Speaking of which, Nino and Jafar are just having this really... Uh, it's a... It's a really, like... Uh, what's it called? It's a really cringeworthy conversation because Lloyd understands that- No, not Lloyd. Uh, Jafar understands that Lloyd's not gonna hold back. Nino doesn't realize that. Yeah. So... Okay, this chapter. <sighs> Put on your, uh, fighting boots, ladies and gentlemen. We are in for a grueling fight this chapter. We're gonna make some preparations, and we'll see you guys in a bit. Sure! Good, Jafar. Uh, you just keep doing what you're doing. Yeah, yeah, we, we've we met. Oh. Huh? That's never what I want to hear. What? Oh, dear. Okay, this guy might be stronger than Jafar. So. I never realized that he said that. So. Maybe because you were never crazy enough to bring Nino into this chapter. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, guys, uh, she's a level 6 mage. <laughs> this, you are just throwing her right into the flames. Hey, she'll be fine. You you are heartless. We'll be fine. She's only a child, Oscar. 
Okay, so. We got a huge amount of enemies here. And we got a village here that we need to save. The thing about this chapter that bugs me is not just the vast amount of enemies and the fact that they're really powerful, it's all this open space! I know, There's this There's no is... place to hide! That's... yeah, this... this is... this is the most warlike chapter of any Absolutely. of them. Absolutely. It is just... go. Alright, so let's say we start off with the Pegasisters here. Yeah. Um, let me check what we can do here. Um, there's a Steel Lance... Oh, wow, Florina! This is Florina we're talking about. I keep forgetting how good she is. Yeah, it's been... It's been a little while since our last recording session, so yeah. for me personally, I'm trying to remember where all of our characters were at. Yeah. Okay, in that case, let's say, like, Florina can handle these three for the time being, but what I'm going to do is, like, bring her over here to deal with these guys, but I'm going to have Florina and Fiora right next to her, because you know what we're going to do with them. All right. Let's do it. First, Florina, do what you do best. Florina of the one shots. Mm-hmm. I didn't realize how high her HP was, too. 44. Yeah, we used some, uh, what is that, Seraph? The Seraph robe. Just yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, guys, here's something of note. Remember the Delphi shield we got, uh, uh, I think it was a couple of chapters ago? Yeah. Or was it last chapter? Uh, it wasn't last chapter. No, it wasn't. It was a while ago. We now have it on Florina, which means she can't be, uh, she can't be, or rather, she does not take crazy damage from arrows anymore. Which is awesome. Now, uh, Farina is gonna come over here, but we're not going to attack. The Elysian Whip. She's gonna be just like her little sister. I just gotta say, the color scheme is really cool here. Yeah. Got a more of a sapphire with Farina. And you wanna know what else? What's better than two Falco Knights? You don't mean. How about three? This is where it's at. Wow. Wow, three uh three Falconites all in a line. It's like a Th this this is the proud these are the proud warriors of Etruria, man. Yeah. Right here. Wow. We're gonna have these three handle, uh, handle what's going on over here, try to, like, salvage this, uh, this, uh, this village. And yeah. I just realized something, dude. We have shops down here! Oh, we do have shops. That's Holy good, smoke. because we good, were just because... talking about how we were out of swords. Yeah, no kidding. Like, we're entirely. out of a lot of things right now. Okay, so what's, what's the threat range on these guys? Um, okay, so right around there. So I think I can put two units right here to take, uh, the brunt of this. I'm, I'm thinking Dorcas and Oswin. Well, Oswin, not so much. I guess Dorcas will go. Yeah. Um, yeah, let's stick with the Silver Axe for now. Sure. Uh, with Oswin right next to him, uh, with the Silver Lance. Wait, he's got an axe too. Oh, he does. Yeah, I forgot about that. <clears throat> um, like Nino said, no, not Nino, Nil said that he doesn't want us to get, want the units to get separated. But I want someone to come up here to try and thin these guys out. Yeah, I, I, I would suggest we. I'm thinking do three Lin. Groups. I'm thinking Lin do that. Lin with possibly Raven. What Can do we, you think? How about how about we give each team a healer also? Because we got good idea. We got three of them. Yeah. So let's say here we send uh, Lucius. Okay. So yeah, we'll send. Wait, just making sure no one can. Yeah, we're good. Okay, so we're gonna send Lucius with the Pegasisters. We're gonna send uh, Sarah with these guys, and we're gonna send Eric with Lynn. Okay. Uh, sound good? Sounds sounds as good as anything. <laughs> All right. I think I'm gonna have a team of three come up this way. Okay. Because not as many units here, and we're gonna have that. We're gonna have Lynn, Raven, and uh, and uh, Eric do that. Okay. So that should be good. Oh, I forgot. This guy has a bolting. A really accurate. Holy smokes. That's, that's pretty good. How... Okay, how long has it been that we don't remember how powerful our units are? Uh, yeah, um... <clears throat> I just finished my own playthrough of Blazing Sword. Uh, the one that I was doing to, like, remind myself. Yeah. So... I have a completely different party composition in that one, so this is kind of, uh... This is kind of confusing to me. Because <laughs> in that one I was using, um... I was using Pent. I was using Barter... Um, 
Uh, I guess it wasn't that different, but I but I was using a few different units from this. Yeah. All right. Who should we send? Um, let's just send Merlinus with the big group. Okay. All right. All right. Show him what you got, Dorcas. Yeah, I'm not worried about these knights. Mm. One shot. I, I'm a little bit worried for these knights. <laughs> yeah. I mean, right now this doesn't look bad. It's going to get bad. Such an awful way to go, just right down the middle like that. I know. Like, the thing is, like, isn't that an instant death? I hope so. Because, like, your, God, your, bra I hope so. your brain is split in two. You're not surviving that. Yeah. I guess you could say that Dorcas kind of, like, hits a lot like Noxian Guillotine. Yeah. Okay, here we go. No chance! I'm still targeting Florina. I know, enough. like, you'd think they target, like, Fiora or Farina because they're obviously weaker than her. Yeah. Man, No, they're a... still... What? Why would they target Florina? Maybe... Maybe that's just... <clears throat> their best chance they think of breaking through the line. I guess? But they can't because they're like a... Murderous flying rockets. <laughs> <laughs> oh my... I'm so... Wait a second. I don't remember these units moving this much. What? Oh, yeah. Is this just... Is this Hector's story specific, or is this actually how they move? Um, I don't really remember Ellawood's story that well, so... Yeah, because I remember a lot of the units, particularly the promoted units, stay static for the most oh, part. Oh, heck no. Oh, jeez. No, this is... Oh, uh... yeah! Just... It's because it's constant reinforcements. Shoot. Yeah, this is all hands on deck. Oh, boy. All right. We're definitely... I think we should definitely send... This guy has a mine. Interesting. I think we have to send some more people with the Pegasisters. That bothers me. Yeah. Right there. Definitely I mean, it, one more. I mean, it's a Mermiden holding that, but... It shouldn't be an issue, I suppose. But still, it, it worries me. We're gonna need more people with the Pegasisters. Probably. Alright. Here's what we're gonna do. Like, the Pegasisters can start off controlling the area, maybe get to that village yeah. first. But... These these three we can take out right here, right now. Um, with uh, Florina right here with an Iron Sword, that way it'll pro it'll uh, proc this uh, guy with the Lance Reaver. Yeah. And if anyone else, like, maybe uh, another sister right here uh, to proc this guy, because no one else can reach that space. And I'm thinking Fiora's the one to do it. Wait, when did Fiora... Oh, it's because they're they're it's because of their promotion. Yeah, they gained hit hit points. I keep forgetting about that. All right, let's put uh, Fiora right over here with a steel lance. Um, might as well get some heals in, I suppose. Ooh, shoot. No, no save no, that. Forget it. All right, so wow, uh, we are poor. Yeah, no kidding. Like, Actually, we have a lot of money. We just need to get to the shops. Mm -hmm. Florina is gonna come over here. Actually, it'll be a good chance to check. Hmm. Yeah, she'll be fine. Yeah. Alright. Ooh, idea. Okay, range them. 45% chance to hit, though. Yeah, but it'll at least do some damage, and I'm going to have uh, Farina go over and trade with her to get the Iron Sword equipped. Okay. Nice hit. Okay. Oh, yeah, Lance Reaver, I forgot. Yeah, exactly. The thing is, I don't want to put anyone any closer because that guy can reach. If uh, I put someone up here. Okay, but you got the Delphi shield, right? Wait a minute. Ooh. Hmm. Yeah, she has a Delphi shield. Um, no. What if we put Fiora, no, not Fiora, Farina, right here, out of range of the, uh, out of range of the archers, and take this guy out? Can actually no. If she, she might, I don't know if she hit. can handle all of that. Uh, it's no guarantee that she can hit either. Forget it. Yeah. Okay, so trade for Iron Sword. Here we go. Okay. Okay, she should be good there. Meanwhile, right over here, I want to do something here specifically. Um. Can we send one more person over over with them, like Ellawood maybe? Yeah, let's have Ellawood do it. Meanwhile, I'm gonna try and set up something here. I'm not worried about these guys at all because Dorcas and Oswin can easily handle them. Yeah. So, I'm going to make a little bit of a blockade here, because okay. I'm going to set up something. Blockades are going to be great. Yes. Um, with a silver axe. Uh, just keep an eye out for axe reavers. Good call. Swords... Sword Slayer! <laughs> I am so happy we don't have any sword, sword wheelers yeah. going that way. 
<sighs> okay, Javelin and a Steel Lance. Uh, yeah, they start busting out the Slayer weapons here. Ooh, I didn't even realize that. Thank, th thank goodness I checked. Um, yeah, Silver Lance is fine. Um, okay, right here. Nino! Ooh, mm. Uh, maybe Matthew can start it out. No, um... Actually, yes, you're right. Because he, he needs a little more experience, too. Well, that's the thing. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to have Nino start this. Okay. All right. And there's a reason for this. Yeah, I see your game. Please dodge this, Nino. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. We I, have a healer. I know. I just really wanted her to dodge it. Yeah, that's true. But hey, that just means more experience for Sarah. Wow. I don't even have a heal staff on her. Jeez. No, we're poor. We... We blew our, all of our money on the third Pegasus night. <laughs> <laughs> Are you still upset about that? I'm not upset, I'm just stating facts. <laughs> I wouldn't say we blew our money because it was money well spent. Right. Um, she's definitely... She's definitely earning her keep. And there you go, Matthew. And with that, I believe he is prime. No, oh, he's ready. <laughs> Things are getting good, man. Promotions for everyone. No kidding. All right. Um, considering how it, it takes so long to promote thieves in this game, I know. And yet thieves are so good in this game. They really are. A, a lot of be a lot of because of how they're utilized so well. Yeah. All right. Here, this is gonna get a little interesting. Um, can we check the equipment on these guys? Yes, we can. We got a poison lance. Oh. Steel lance. Short bow and a short bow. Okay. Okay. Here's how we're gonna do this. We're gonna have Eric come up. Oh yeah. Yeah, blaze him. I never mentioned this by the way. Like that little like that little like reeve sound you hear when he casts a spell like that. Yeah. Always all, I always thought that was cool. It is cool. It also reminds me of um a link to the past, like all the teleporting sounds. Yes. Alright. You can more than hit more than you're more than capable of handling a steel lance. I want to get rid of these ranged units. So Raven, beautiful. Yep. Ah! <laughs> why not crit? You know why not crit? I'm glad he did it on the first shot. Yeah, saving that sword. That's more than worth it. And Lin. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. That's something I've always been curious about, and, and especially ever since I played uh, the newest version of Project N that had Lin as a beta. Yeah. Like, I never realized, like, I wonder what that style was. I've always wondered what that style was like, where, like, warriors would- Oh, I keep forgetting about this. Uh, let's equip this first and then use them. Huh. Um, I don't think we really need Hector up there, because they're all gonna attack Hector and he can't gain levels anymore. Yeah, good idea. I'll just put him down here with the speed wings. There we go. Speed increased. Sweet. Now, anyway, what I was saying, right? Yeah. <clears throat> like, have you ever, like, have you ever thought about, like, what kind of, like, fighting style that is that requires, like, swordsmen to sh to constantly sheath and unsheath their sword? Actually, um, I still don't remember the name of it, but I've been kind of looking into that because that, there is a specific name for that. I don't know. Yeah, I know. Name. Like, I've seen several characters, uh, uh, utilize that. Like, Lin in particular is, like, one notable example. Another one is from a character- I don't remember what the character's name is, but it's a character from, uh, Capcom vs. SNK. Oh, Jesus. Uh, how about the, uh, spinning whirly dervish axe style? I would've just- I would've just called it, uh, Lycian Guillotine. Lycian Guillotine. There you go. <laughs> nice. Or, uh- Ooh, that's gonna hit. Not that much, though, thankfully. <laughs> Does this look Does like a hits? sword to you? That's not a sword! I, he's using oh. a sword slayer. Oh, yeah, good point. Luckily, we have the sword slayer slayer. <laughs> Alright. Um, that well, is, like, it, a it, real no, you thing know, you in Bushido, the, the, like, mortal draw. Oh, yeah, that's right. Which they use in Twilight Princess and a couple other Zelda games. Yeah, exactly. Like, I just find it fascinating how some warriors can, like, do it constantly. I don't even think that- I don't even know if that's possible in real life. Well, it's a really big samurai thing to, like, um... One, keeping it in the sheath, but also to have it pointed so that, like, the hilt is pointed straight at your opponent yeah, until, yeah, yeah. until you swing. Uh -huh. Because part of that 
um, means that it's harder for your opponent to see how long the sword is. That's so right. it's also playing into their perception, uh -huh. making it harder for them to respond to you. Got it. Okay, that explains it. And it's also just kind of a mind game because for for people who hadn't fought samurai, it was like, oh, okay, they're they're sheathed. We're fine. Uh huh. Underestimate how quickly they can unsheath their sword in one circular motion. That says a lot. Wow, he's attacking Raven. Huh. No, I can I can believe it. Um, yeah, I just expected him to to attack the mage. I I think Eric dodges better than Raven does though. Maybe he does. You are correct about that. Oh geez, we got like paladins coming in now. Paladins and a uh, nomad troopers. troopers. Yep. Yeah, we're gonna have Dorcas and uh, and uh, Oswin like form a wall there in between those uh, mountains. This is gonna be our only real chance to see nomad tr troopers because we didn't. Uh... Yeah, we're not really going to invest in uh, in it, Wrath, unfortunately. It's too late for Wrath. I'm sorry, guys. Like, I know a lot of you wanted to see Wrath in action, but frankly, yeah. it, it really isn't the time for that anymore. It, there's a lot of characters <laughs> I would have liked to use instead, but luckily, our first wave, for the most part, didn't die, so we didn't yeah, have no to kidding. fall back on all of our choices. All right, I'm going to check something here. Uh, what can you do? Not terrible, but I don't like the fact that you can't kill. I think we should just let them come to us. Yeah, that seems to be the best case scenario right now. I mean, they're holding their own just fine. Yeah. Um, I just can't approach any closer, at least not with uh, Fiora or Farina, because yeah. of these archers. Once the Pegasi take care of this, Ella Wood can go take out the snipers. Yeah, I agree. Oh, jeez. That's some power there. Yeah, also there's that. Yeah, the uh, hero. Oh, jeez. That's all right. How'd you miss a 92%? Florina! She had something in her eye. Ugh. Don't yell at her. She's like 14. Okay, point taken, but still. Should be able to hit that. <sighs> well, she's on a bridge with a river separating them, so there's no serious threat here. Um, what do you have equipped? <sighs> I'm still nervous about that, like, missing portion of health. Can anybody reach her? I mean, she Lucius is right here. Yeah. You know, I, I'm going to use that heal staff. Okay. Because there's a shop right there. I'm sure they have yeah. something we can use. Yeah, you're right. We're, so I'm going. I'm going to use whatever we've got for the time being. Oscar, is it possible that my um, that my overly nervous nature has begun to rub off on you? I've been playing Conquest, man. That game <laughs> has been has been the bane of me. I've been playing Conquest, man. You don't come back from that normal, man. <sighs> I have not played Conquest yet, so... Hmm, I'm curious. By the time this video comes out, I'm sure I'll also have finished Conquest. Probably. I'm curious, do I want to put Matthew there? To get some aggro? You know why? Mm, how many people can reach? Just two. Yeah, I think Matthew can handle it. Alright, so where is it? Okay, right there. Oh, Matthew! And now I really think he can handle it. <laughs> Please sign on the dotted line, sir. Your new job has begun. We got another assassin! <laughs> the pay is reasonable and the benefits are oh so good. Oh, yeah.